whether you are aware of it or not, you are experiencing your soul's mission in this physical form. And you're learning lessons and you're cultivating the truth about yourself and this entire experience and about where you came from and who you really are. Whether you're even aware of that or not, your subconscious mind right now in your surrounding is downloading information and storing it. And it has been doing this ever since your soul came from creator and entered this physical bubble of the third dimensional plane. And you have all of these memories stored inside of you. And you have all of this is made up into your DNA. So who you are is an accumulation of so many spiritual lessons. And a recent, a recent um, find on the internet for me lately was a woman by the name of Dolores Cannon. She is a, a hypnotherapist who works on the subconscious mind of, their, of her clients. And she uncovers all of these, um, I don't want to say absolute truths, but these consistent truths in many different people saying almost the same things. And something she shared was that through her work, she has found that there is an initiation process when it comes to incarnating into being a human. That there's so many steps involved into being what you are right now. So essentially, when you, when we left and decided to break away from that, the original source, and we've come back into this physical place, once you enter the, this physical place, you have to become everything so that you can be, your consciousness has to become aware of everything and better to understand the truth of it all. That's why we're here. That's why we are here. That's why we forget. That's why we have amnesia, because we are here doing our best to remember who we are. We are doing our best to uncover the truth. Whether or not, whether or not you just, you know, you, you go home, you work and you click on the TV and you don't critically think there's nothing wrong with that. But, but, but the, all I'm saying is even if you're not asking the deeper questions, doesn't mean that you're not participating. So going back to what Dolores said, that once we left creator source and we've come in here, we have to become all things. So it starts literally with, I don't know what it starts with, but it's like you, you literally become the elements, your consciousness of the elements, the, the sky, the wind, the air. You, you understand the consciousness of grass and trees and a turtle, a snake, an insect, a plant, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, literally everything that you see, you have become. And that doesn't even feel completely 100%, but there is so much truth into to what I'm saying, for, for myself anyway. So... One of the most potent things she said, though, was when she was talking about the consciousness of animals, that certain animals, like if you're a cow or like cattle, you're a group consciousness. You're a group consciousness. And the way to set yourself free from that group consciousness is through love, through receiving love and through giving love. And it was really powerful because as soon as I heard it, I immediately paused the video and I went over to my cat. And I was like, oh, kitty. I was like, kitty, do all you need is love? Is that all you're looking for here? Is that all your soul needs to be free? And I was like, kitty, you are loved and you are safe to feel this love. And you are whatever lesson or thing you're looking for just know that you can be free of it you can you can have it and through this love that i'm giving you right now your soul is free 
And I'm just telling her these things. And she's yawning and I can tell she's really, really feeling this energetic connection. And it just kind of clicked in that moment that that's what every being needs. That's it, is unconditional love. It's unconditional love that sets our souls free. Like, it's so inconceivable. It's so like, well, yeah, duh, Troy, like everything needs love, but you don't understand. If you really understood that, there'd be no sort of discrepancy or imbalance or judgment or envy. There would just be unity and abundance if we really understood that everything needed unconditional love. And I mean it. I mean, the grass that you walk on, it deserves the same amount of love you give your own mother, your own child. That same amount of love needs to be given to the tree in the sky, your house, wood, everything here is living. But we've been programmed. We've been programmed and our consciousness is being harvested. It's being almost hacked into keeping us trapped into these limited, limited dimensions of thought. That we are this physical body, that we come from the earth, and when we die, nothing matters, so, you know, accumulate wealth. And that's the secret to happiness, and that's just not the truth. You are unique, and you have a specific soul mission that you came here to uncover. You're learning specific lessons necessary for your growth. But I will say this, no matter what lesson you are learning, it is going to be rooted in love. That is something I feel in my heart. No matter what you learn, it will always anchor from the frequency of love. So if you can, before you, before you need to find an answer for the mind, Look for the love that you can feel. Look about. Look for the love that you can feel in situations and just set your soul free from the start. Give everything the benefit of love. And that's including yourself. You see, we've also been taught that we can't love ourselves and someone else at the same time. But that's not true. There are things as healthy boundaries. There are things that build you up that also serve other people. And the more that we cultivate the things that build us up, the more that we're going to resonate to the planet what we need. And we're gonna start getting an alignment. Yeah, you're gonna see your friends go. You're gonna see your family split up. You're gonna see things break down because we've been built on lies. So know that all of this destruction that comes out once we start moving in the direction of love is a really good thing. Because it means that we're going to start aligning with the things that are actually meant for who we are in our soul's true, unique mission. It's hard to swallow that some of the friends we thought were our friends aren't going to be with us for the future. But that doesn't mean that they didn't serve us a purpose. It doesn't mean that they're, they're, in, uh, they're not valuable. They were so valuable to get you to where you're going. Do not take that for granted. Hold that love in your heart and know that you are here for a mission that needs to be accomplished. And, and part of me thinks that every single one of our missions as an individual, as an individual, is to know thyself, to understand who you are as an individual, to help the collective shared mind that we all are connected to. We all connect, we all share this certain frequency of, of, of an unconscious mind. And so how we serve that the best is to work on the, the individual conscious mind and to be conscious of the things that we love and to love ourselves, to serve ourselves so that we can serve other people. We've been taught that, that, that being selfish is an act of, of, no, that's not true. We've been taught that working on ourselves is an act of selfishness, is something to be looked down upon. That's just not true. 
We're here to figure out what each individual is, who they are, to express that in the most full, authentic way possible so that the collective can be rewarded, so that the, con the collective can connect. So once you start looking at your life and your problems and your challenges and your issues from the perspective that it all deserves, it deserves and needs unconditional love, you're going to start experiencing the truth of why you're here. Even the most unfathomable acts of cruelty on this planet, how are we gonna get through them? Not through shame or guilt, but through unconditional love. It takes so much strength to do that. People aren't talking about that. People talk about loving kindness as some beta bullshit that needs to be fucking stomped on and be stoic and not have feelings. Feelings are, are so important to this physical place. Do not underestimate your feelings. I do believe it's not healthy to anchor yourself in the fluctuating of, of feelings, but it is very, very important and intelligent to understand your feelings, to understand what it means when you're feeling certain things, not to associate and to be these feelings, but to be and allow these feelings to show you where you're going and to, to learn the data of which your feelings bring into you, which is just truth. The data is the truth. Your feelings are the truth of what you're feeling. The feelings are the truth of what you're experiencing. Not the feeling, like you're not feeling sad. But what sadness is doing to you is bringing up something out of your subconscious that you need to decode and dissect. It's all messages, it's all encrypted. It's perfect. Because if we knew why we were here without having to think about it, we wouldn't be doing us any real service. We have to uncover and become our own investigators of our lives. We are here to know ourselves, to set ourselves free. To know yourself is freedom. It's freedom. We want that freedom. We want to be free and that's what we're creating. And to, to do that is through unconditional love. So once we start looking at all things through the lens of unconditional love, we will all be a witness to freedom. Stand up for what you love and have respect for what other people love as well. Find common ground. Find what you align with by aligning with who you are. Do not control your environment. Just just align, start unlocking, start decoding all of your feelings. Everything is trying to tell you something. And the more that we're mindful, the more that we practice stress management, the more that we don't let stress control how we think, the more that we come down and anchor into the truth of what we know, the more of this divine energy can just come into us and give us the blessings we've been looking for. We have to, to, to open up to that. We have to let this vessel be clean, to eat well, eat consciously, to, to exercise our bodies and our minds creatively. It takes a lot of work, but that is why we're here, to do the work and you will be rewarded. Every bit of hard work that you do now and I don't mean breaking your back and working harder than you have to I mean doing the work of of the uncomfortable dissecting of what it is that you are when you do that you will be rewarded if not here it will be up there or wherever we go but we will be rewarded so don't don't harbor the weight don't harbor the weight that your efforts aren't being seen because they are just keep giving, keep giving unconditional love to every single being that you come in contact with. We all deserve that. You deserve that. You deserve that peace. You deserve to, to, to receive that peace. So much love. So much love. So much love. So much love.
Namaste. I see you.